Greetings, everybody. Get out your King James Bible. Turn it to Isaiah chapter 38. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The tone of Isaiah in after chapter 39 totally has a different tone to it. Some have said Isaiah is like a mini Bible. It has 66 chapters. Bible has 66 books. 39 books in the Old Testament. And in the 39th book of Isaiah, there's a lot of condemnation. But in chapters 40 to 66, it sort of kind of mimics the New Testament. Matter of fact, when you get to the last couple of chapters of Isaiah, like 60, chapter 65 and 66, it mimics the book of Revelation. So, it talks about the new kingdom. So, God willing, I will be able to get through the entire study. So keep that in mind. A lot of your liberal non-believers and deceivers, that's what I call them, non-believers and deceivers, will try to tell you that two different people wrote Isaiah. They said that chapters 1 through 39 was written by one guy and then Chapters 40 through 66 was written by somebody totally different because the tone is totally different. Well, all I know is uh, Paul wrote to Timothy and said, all, all scripture, uh, let's see. Yep, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, and we all need that, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. With that in mind, let's go to Isaiah chapter 38 and verse 1. All right, Hezekiah, verse 1. In those days was Hezekiah... Now, he was the king of Judah. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amoz, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of the Lord to, Hez uh, to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayers, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city. And this shall be a sign unto thee from the Lord, that the Lord will do this thing that he hath spoken." Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees which is gone down in the sun dial of Ahaz, ten degrees backward. So the sun returned ten degrees by the degrees it was gone down. Now, can you imagine the sun going back the way it came instead of the, you know, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west? Well, suppose it was noontime, and then all of a sudden the sun starts going back toward the east, back toward where the sunrise was. 
I mean, you'd be like, what? So that was the Lord's way of saying, I'm going to do what I'm telling you I'm going to do. That shall be the sign. The writing of Hezekiah, king of Judah, when he had been sick and was recovered of his sickness, I said in the cutting off of my days, I shall go to the gates of the grave. I am deprived of the residue of my years. I said, I shall not see the Lord, even the Lord, in the land of the living. I shall behold no, more, no man, no more, with the inhabitants of this world. Mine age is departed and is removed from me as a shepherd's tent. I have cut off like a weaver my life. He will cut me off with pining sickness. From day even to night wilt thou make an end of me. I reckon till morning that, as a lion, so will he break all my bones. From day even to night wilt thou make an end of me. Like a crane or a swallow, so did I chatter. Now, if you're talking about a crane, we're not talking about something used in construction to pick up heavy things. No, we're talking about a bird. Like a crane or a swallow, so did I chatter. I did mourn as a dove. Mine eyes fall with looking upward. O oh Lord, I am oppressed. Undertake for me. What shall I say? He hath both spoken unto me, and himself hath done it. I shall go softly all my years in the bitterness of my soul. O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit. So wilt thou recover me, and make me to live. Behold, for peace I have great bitterness, but thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption, for thou hast cast all my sins behind my back. Boy, that's a great thing, huh? For thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back. For the grave cannot praise thee, death cannot celebrate thee. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. The living, the living, he shall praise thee, as I do this day. The father to the children shall make known thy truth. The Lord was ready to save me. Therefore, he will sing my songs to the stringed instruments all the days of our life in the house of the Lord. Verse 31. For Isaiah had said, let them take a lump of figs and lay it for a plaster upon the boil, and he shall recover. Hezekiah also had said, What is the sign that I shall go up to the house of the Lord? All right, everybody, that is the end of chapter 38. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of of the world, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen.